Hi there guys, Steve here again. Uh, another video for you. This time it's on the ATEM2 broadcast control panel. Uh, I'm going to start very, very simple, which is bringing up sources and then seeing them on the main monitor. So, starting with the front of the mixer, you have the ME2 bank, and it's the ME2 program, so the ME1 bank, and it's the ME1 program monitor that you get up here. Got program and preview there, the big, the big squares on the main monitor. If he wants to punch up a source, so it appeared on the program output, the master output of the mixer, you go down to the upper row of these two buttons where it says ME1 program. We've currently got an input on camera 4, so I'm going to push camera 4. and It lights up solid red. And up on the screen you can see we have pictures on camera 4 and we have a picture on the main monitor. So ME1 program is the main output of the entire mixer. Whatever you route before it, whether it's graphics, stills, lower thirds, uh, other layers of effects and that sort of stuff, the thing that's going to go out of it, that's going to be recorded on the server, it's going to be recorded on Hyperdeck 5, is the output of the MEE1 program bus. So it's whatever happens to be here goes out on the main monitor. So let's say at this point we've got one source, we have another source there and we want to cut between them. So let's punch up another source, and you punch that up on the preview side, so that when you do your transition, it goes from one to the other, program to preview, program to preview, program to preview. So we've got camera four there. Let's pull up something like, uh, what have we got that's currently available? Let's say some color bars. Simple things to see. Now, as you, as you can probably tell from these labels, you've got cameras, four cameras, you've got servers, You've got media players, the built-in media players of the, mi of the mixer itself. You've got the six hyperdecks. Don't see color bars there anywhere. If you push this shift button down here, and you look over there, you'll see different sets of inputs appear. And amongst the pink ones there, you've got color bars. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I don't have big enough hands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the shift key. Well, with this hand, I'm going to push color bars with that one. And you can see it's flashing. See our main output is now showing color bars. Okay? But if I just go to camera 4, before, you see it's not flashing. So anything that's flashing is something that's underneath. It's on this, these shifted keys, these shifted camera, these shifted inputs. So anything that's on the first 20 is solid. Anything that's shifted, if I bring up that one, you'll see it flashes. Okay? So I'm going to put camera 4 back on the program. I'm going to put my color bars, I can hold it with one hand, put my color bars on the preview. Now as you can see on the main monitor, on the main monitor output, on the program output, we see camera 4, which is where it should be, over here. And on the preview output, we've got flashing green light under where color bars will be. And you can see the color bars appearing on the ME1 preview display over there. To change between them, you find the cut button. So if I back up a little bit and I push the cut, cut button, promise me, promise you I really am doing it, and you can see it brings up the other source that's the once on the preview bank and puts it onto the program output. You'll see the lights have changed. So now the camera 4 is down on preview and, our me and our, it's not media player 1, it's actually it's our color bars. Color bars appearing and flashing on the program side. I push the cut button again, they change over. Cut, 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 cut. Okay, and that's how you transition from one, one source to another, from program to preview, or preview up to program, they switch over, and you do it again, it switches, bump, switches them back. And that's straightforward cutting between sources. So as you can see, as I push cut, 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 cut. Just quickly then, I won't go into a whole load of detail on this, you can also have timed transitions. See that auto button there, and it's got a duration of 8 frames? If I push that, I'll show you can see on the screen, it's doing a crossfade. Same sort of thing, from program to preview, pre progr preview up to program, preview up to program, switching those sources over. In this, time, in this case, it's doing a fade. Okay, just to continue on the same vein then, when we went before, we were having uh, just mixes from one place to another, as you can see, what we had before, just mixes. You can also set it to do wipes. 
So I'm not going to go into all the different parameters and everything uh, to do with wipes and DVEs and stings and things, but quite simply, with the same sort of thing, using the auto button, having the duration set, you can see I've got a nice cross wipe going on there. Cross wipes and horizontal wipes, vertical wipes, matrix wipes, things like that can all be programmed through the various, part, various parts of the mixing system. Possibly go into those in a little bit more detail later. But at this, at this point, it's just showing that you, you can and have different sorts of video transition from the program, uh, between the program and the preview bus. You can also use the T-bar. If I move the T-bar halfway, you can see the little light indicator shows it's halfway. You can see that cross fade, uh, so that cross wipe has gone halfway. If I push it all the way forwards, it changes over. If I now slide it halfway and then halfway back, you can see I'm basically just doing this. Mm -hmm. And you see the result. And then halfway down again. <laughs>